I worked for the energy rating program in Colorado for several years, and I got so tired of hearing builders tell me why they couldn't build energy efficient buildings that I became a builder myself. And I did that for probably nine years or so, and then the market crashed. And I was here in Connecticut when that happened, and then I remembered, oh look, I have an engineering degree. I'll go back to work, and I contacted Stephen Winter Associates, and I was just lucky enough that they had a position for me at the time. Um, and I, I love residential buildings, I love energy efficiency, and so it's just the natural progression uh, of my career, I think, that I'm in this field. And Passive House was, I think, just the next natural step to, to taking, it, taking it that much farther. I am actually born and bred in Connecticut. Um, I've lived here most of my life. I went to school for my master's in Colorado and I stayed there for about 11 years, but then I moved back because all my family is here and you know how it is. You love them, but you hate them, <laughs> yeah. but you love them. <laughs> most of my hobbies are warm weather related i uh i'm not a cold weather person i think that might be why i'm in this profession because i like to be warm so much i try to keep other people warm but um i i love to garden i love the beach and i know it's bad for your skin but that's one of my favorite places to be and it seems contradictory why would i live in new england if i need the warmth but the problem is i also need the trees so that was my undergraduate degree forestry because i love the woods. I love the trees. So there's not a lot of places, California maybe, where you're going to get woods like this and real warmth. So I get it part of the year <laughs> and then I deal with the other part. There are there are times like this winter where you're like, North Carolina seems beautiful. <laughs> and so I've always been interested in environmental fields. Uh, when I graduated undergraduate, uh, I wound up waiting tables. There were no jobs. Um, and I decided, okay, I want to stay in the environmental field, but I want something a little more technical. And building energy efficiency is so important. And it, it, buildings in the United States use so much of our energy that it just seemed to be a natural progression from, from where I had started. And, and it's not like I lost any of that natural resource management. It's just something that supplements what I do now. So that, that's kind of how I, I got into this field. That's my passion. But I, I just think homes are beautiful and I love working with them and to make them more comfortable and energy efficient what could be better. Professionally, my plans for the future, I, I would say I'll be in energy efficiency in buildings for a long time. I, I've never been that type of person that says my 10-year plan is this and my 15-year plan is this. I just don't think that way and I think it's, I think it's because I like what I do so much that I don't I don't think I need to be the CEO of Stephen Winter Associates in five years time. I just enjoy what I'm doing and learning, being able to do new certifications and, and learning new things I think is always my goal, just to keep myself interested and, and to keep my clients at the forefront of what's happening. Um, I, think, I think those are my goals, but I, I think I'll be in this field for a very long time. So for young professionals who are aspiring to, to work in the energy efficiency field for buildings and homes. My recommendation to you is just patience. You would think by now it would be catching on, but we have the same conversations with people 20 years ago that we do now. That, that really is my biggest recommendation. It's an educational process and it's gonna take years for these people over here who heard it as children to be the ones that are now in this field. Another piece of advice that I would give to professionals in my field is, is just be honest with your clients and about their goals. Their goal might not be a rational, reasonable goal for their project, and it's your job to be honest with them and lead them in the right direction. Just because it's, it's a high level of energy efficiency doesn't mean it, it might be right for them, and it, it's your job, your professional responsibility to lead them in the right direction.